Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new planet today with a game called Distrust Cruise Edition. I did not notice this earlier. This is a game released on Steam, I believe. Oh, uh, when was it? On the 23rd of August. So it's it has been some time uh, since it was released. Uh, we sort of have uh, a lot of these games left over from even last year. So uh, I'm going to try and shove them all in here at the end of the year sorry for the delay to the developers i know you you keep expecting us to post the shows and we will post them eventually oh what is this find the five parts of the ticket for a chance to win a cruise oh my god that's what a cruise edition is okay wow okay uh lucky stick of the shoe okay da -da. okay this is interesting so if i find all parts of a ticket i can fulfill my dream to go live with the penguins I'm not joking, I have that dream to go live in Antarctica with the penguins because summer around here in Romania is horrible. Especially since for people who can't afford air conditioning or working fans. It's, it's horrible. So what is this game? Well, it's inspired by John Carpenter's The Thing. You get that sense from the intro itself and from this menu that... I gotta say, I love this thing. Like, menus like this are sort of... A bit of a lost art when when the menu actually tries to tell you something about the game about what it is what the game is about uh, and this game by the way is made by a studio called the cheer dealers and it's published by alawar premium that's a strange name but yeah this game is sort of inspired a bit by uh the thing and i why is the frame rate dropping to 40 from time to time these these i don't think these are actual particles i think these are just Okay, that's it's it's a strange performance issue, especially since this is the only 3D thing, and there's this particleish effect that's not really—they're not individual snowflakes, and the rest is 2D. Why is it doing that? In terms of options, you have what you expect to have on so for something made with Unity Engine. You've got fantastic graphics, and. Um, well, let's go on. The, I don't, I'm gonna leave the uh, the frame rate indicator on just so uh, you'll be able to see the performance better because uh, it even felt like it during the game it also had some issues with uh, performance. So let's continue. So if you've seen the thing, John Carpenter's The Thing, it's a superb movie. It's it's an amazing. It's one of the best horror movies ever made. It, it's it's astonishing. I won't tell you many spoilers about it because it's superb. But for those who've seen the movie, this game starts how the movie ends you know with with the situation in which the characters were that's how this game starts and when i first saw it i said to myself oh my god it's gonna be amazing you're gonna have to find you're gonna have to try and uh, realize which which one of these guys is in fact which one of these guys is a thing which who's but no it's uh, it's not really that much of a mystery kind of kind of their um or were they the spooky monsters. The oh no! I clicked. I clicked. Oh goddamn it! Where are you? No, 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 no! Don't go out! Don't go out! Whew. Um, both. I think I'm gonna see if I can disable a left click to move. I don't think I can. Can I? So left click is set to move and also to select things. And you can click out of the uh, the area where they're selected. So you we will sometimes get your characters to move around even though we didn't want to. So these are my two characters. You can select. Uh, uh, from the characters you've unlocked, you start with three unlocked characters, and you can select from them two, uh, two or three, well, two at the beginning, and you will find more along the way. You can have a maximum of three characters, and these characters have different uh, statistics. For example, oh, no, that's not it. Well, I can actually, can, yeah, this is the statistics icon. This is Irma Dillinger. She is a psychologist who has moderate resistance to cold. She has a special ability called the Modest Rations, which means that she gets hungry slower than everybody else, so she doesn't have to eat much. She runs at a medium speed and walks at a medium speed as well. Now, what's the difference between these two? Well, you can't run in the dark while you're holding your flashlight for some reason. You can only walk. And see here, that's that's the stamina. It'll drain if you, it'll drain as long as you're. It'll drain constantly. You have to sleep to recover it. This here is uh, sa satiety. It's it's arisen by your food. So if you lose this, you're kind of dead. And uh, this is your warmth. You have to keep warm. And by that I mean you have to constantly try and make yourself hot, super hot, which was the greatest game ever made. 
This is a medical station which I can use to... That guy's doing a moonwalk. Why are you doing the moonwalk? Oh, because... Yeah, I forgot. Um, movement is mouse related. So whenever you, you're pointing the mouse to, that's where your character will be pointing the flashlight in. Because that, this is an important thing. It's an important thing because uh, there are monsters in this game. I can make a medikit because I don't actually have uh, a dirty uh, bandage. Why is the performance so sketchy? It shouldn't be. One thing that I have to say from the get-go is that I absolutely hate the camera. I mean, I, I absolutely despise it. This game is in 3D. Why is the camera snapping to right angles? Why? Look, it's... it's, it's it makes actually looking inside a, a, an area, a room, kind of annoying. Here you can see um, some of the elements that you'll see in, that you'll have encounter in the, uh, the game itself in the gameplay. This is a furnace. You have to keep these things lit in order to actually produce heat so you won't die. And you also have generators. Generators produce light. Light is the enemy of darkness, if you get what I mean. Let's see, can... No, that's spoiled. I don't have any food, do I? Don't have any food left. I've got some rotten wood. I'm gonna need to find some food, so uh, this may not actually be great. Uh, let's see, where can I go? I should try, I should try and go here. Where are my guy? Where my? Where are my characters? See, this is something I don't enjoy about the game. When you're scrolling away from them, it doesn't show you exactly where they are because you can twist this around constantly. It can get a bit annoying, and you'll lose sight of them. Okay, so let's go out through here. Yeah, now it's dark, so you can't actually run, so you'll probably freeze your head off. You can interact with several things that will give you um, uh, resources or the occasional information about uh, uh, things you may find within the world. Okay, these guys are not doing too well. Come on, get in, get in, get in. Okay, this place is warm, but it, it's not lit. Uh, can we light it, light it with something? You'll notice that there are windows. Windows, if they're open, they will vent the heat out, so it's important for you to keep them closed. This place does not appear to have a generator. You can't control the characters both at once, so you have to do it uh, one at a time. But during that time, you can actually have uh, this character do something else, but there's nothing to do here. Now, our objective in this game is to get here. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to go here too as well. Maybe. And I'm gonna go here too and then here. And during this time, I'm probably going to try and show you that there are things around here that you may need to uh, be aware of that will chase you down and murder you. Is that a light switch? It could... No, I think that's just a light, but it's it's locked. I like the, the way the light propagates. It, it's nice. Like, it reminds me of those old adventure games from the, the age when they sort of look like this a bit. Remember? That was an age. It was a time long ago. How many... Okay, we found one. We found the right key. And inside we have medical supplies. Okay, you get that one, you get that one. Okay, so. Giggling and mocking tone. Oh, wait. Yeah, da, 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 da. No choke on street, stay alert. Okay, this is an event. When such an event happens, you'll flip a coin. If something bad happens, you... Uh, okay, good thing, good thing, good thing, good thing. Focus behind the cabinet, looking close to your cup of coffee. Oh, a cup of coffee would actually be great because these guys are sort of uh, dying of... Uh, you know, things. An adrenaline. Okay, so they can keep awake. Uh, where's the cup of coffee? You probably need more stamina. That should replenish your stamina, I think. Yes, it did. And yeah, that, that saved her. And you found adrenaline. Uh, Bring us out of a coma. Okay. Mm. He doesn't have food. And he doesn't have anything to keep him awake. I'm gonna have to find some food and something, some place for him to sleep soon, otherwise we're gonna have trouble. Uh, we're also gonna have to try and uh, refuel this. Generators will have power here in case something happens. Oh, there's a dog kennel outside. Gee, I wonder if there's a, a thing in there. And by thing in there, I mean a thing. Uh, no place to rest. Um, I may actually have to backtrack a bit and go back to a place I previously was in. That was a nice place, but I'm gonna have to go back there, I think. Let's see what's in the big crate. If I had a saw, I could probably light jacket. Okay, so you can equip this and not be cold anymore. If 
I had the, uh, oh, I do, I do have the axe. Yeah, I do have the axe. So you, 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 you go and chop these things so we can use them as fuel. And we have the grindstone that we can probably use to craft things. Can we actually use to, uh, okay, what can we use? Oh, it's being used right now, so I can't actually craft with it. See, the game takes things into account. That That's nice, actually. Okay, we can uh, repair it. Okay, so we can actually do much with it. But we can repair it. Okay, this guy's gonna die if I don't find a place for him to eat. Something for him to eat. I'm gonna... Mm, there's no food up there, so I'm gonna have to get them both down here quickly. Okay, so I, I can double click on these guys to get them uh, to move. No, wait, there's a bed here, there's a bed here. No, go, go back, go back, go back. There's a bed down here. Okay, so you may still die of, uh, of starvation, but at least you will be healthy. You'll be you'll be well rested. Oh, God. By the way, when you go to sleep, this happens, and these things show up. Now, to kill these things, you have to get them into the light. See, like that. See, when they're waiting when they go into the light, they lose uh, HP. So I'm going to try and lure that thing into the light. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't have any weapons to actually use against them right now. And that's actually kind of bad. Okay, but at least it's left. It left to the left. Come on. Die, die, you, you rotten, dirty things. Die. Yeah, they come into our world while we sleep. Yeah, I sort of know that's this when, when those things are showing up. And they can come in here. Like, if, if we didn't have lights. They can come in here, I believe, and they will try to kill us. I could eat a week's worth of rations, I know, but you, you should, you're supposed to be asleep. You're supposed to be asleep, man. Don't we have any other... Fr we have this. Now, I wonder, can eating rotten food actually make him a bit, you know, less hungry? I do have pills for him to rest, so let's try it on and see if it fits. Maybe it'll, uh, yeah, it'll make them sick, but I have the pills for it, so it, it should it should even out. Okay, starting field sick. It's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, let's put this there. See, at least it, it's idiated him a bit, so he won't die right away. But we are running out of uh, fuel for the heating, so we're gonna have to run away from here quite soon. Oh, uh, we got kind of hurt there. Come on, you, the other one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, they ran away. Uh, let's run away to here. One, and you two. Come on, come on. Okay, so this is kind of problematic. It's okay, it's okay. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. The game is sense I kind of like the music. It's a techno kind of beat. Electronic music, sort of thing. Has come for me, but it looks like our world makes... what? Yeah, our world makes it sick. Go inside, go inside, and hopefully... Can you lock the door? Look, look, look at it, look at it, look at it. Don't, don't, don't go away. One of you has to look in that direction, come on. No, don't go inside it. Okay, it blew up, it, it died. We're gonna have to find some food. Uh, like really soon the saw on the table so we can use that to craft things and use her to sh search for these shelves there's enough if i can find some raw food at least i can cook it somewhere else let's we'll have that planks okay planks are not edible unless you're really desperate that's locked and this guy is walking very slowly because he is kind of really hungry Hungry enough to actually swallow uh, that uh, very, very disgusting food. Big crate. I don't have any more. I'm gonna turn on the heat at least. Okay, more insulation tape. Let's go inside here. I actually break that down now. So we have more planks. Come on, just a snack. I need a snack. You need the keys, maybe. The cigarettes will actually make you a bit, uh, a bit more hungry. Well, it's empty to create, and we didn't find anything we needed, actually. Okay, let's chop these up and go here now. Uh, this place is locked. 
but we do have doors. We do have keys, I mean. And this guy is gonna die of starvation. Here it is, still busy. Okay, come on, both of you. Go, go, go. You, you, could, you, could, you could try and run in the darkness. You could try. I mean, put some effort. Wait a minute. Did I not check that? Did I not check that? That? Oh, I did not check the cabinet. I did not check a lot of these things, did I? Okay, he's, he's opening that thing. Okay, so then maybe, maybe, maybe we can save this. How did I not check the cabinets? I don't know. Well, I think I was distracted by something else. Gas can on the shelf. Okay. Now you can go to the other guy as well. Come on, go there, go there, go there. Uh, this guy is is going to freeze to death soon. Close entrance. He's gonna die, like he's, lose, he's losing health now. Come on, go inside, go inside, go inside. Let's find a generator. There's a... Okay, you go into the fridge and eat whatever is there. You turn on the heat, and hopefully we can get this sorted. And you can see one of these characters is already losing stamina again, so I'm gonna have to find a place to... Instant noodles! Does he have an oven? I hope they're cooked, otherwise it's gonna be a very unpleasant uh, punch. Okay, that, that actually wasn't that great. Oh, well, food does not satiate them really that much. Bag of trash. Okay, she lost some health there. More planks. So, uh, picking up those planks, maybe... Okay, I'm gonna have to explore the rest of this place. And maybe find a bed, like... I should have made a rest in that place. Oh, this is locked too. Okay, so you open that thing. Uh, got enough fuel, so maybe open this. Yeah, that's that's gonna kill her. Okay, this is her health. The green thing is her health. I should go down and uh, eventually murderize her. Bit of coal. Yeah, that coal should be good. Oh, did we miss? I missed a nice stand. Maybe there's something uh, like coffee there to help her. Who knows? A lockpick. Okay, that should actually be useful. Oh, you actually have to find the keys, so I think the lockpicks may be useful if you don't have the keys, or maybe they open the uh, door faster. Okay, let's go inside here. We have a cabinet. One of them is hungry again, the other one is... Uh, ooh. Cabinet is locked, I'm going to the pick lock. Uh, can I trick? Okay, try the trick. Hopefully it'll work. So you need a pick. Okay, it worked. Uh, okay, let, let's switch this. Pick the lock. And you go in here. Hopefully find a bed. Something to eat. Or both. She's gonna die. It's kind of annoying that you can't actually... Uh... Oh, the key to the exit. Okay, cool. So we can actually go out now. So you do have to go to the locked place first and then get the key to the exit to actually be able to exit. The one thing that it's kind of annoying that is that you can actually go... What the... Did we find a new jacket? Why jacket? Why is this purple? Oh, they're, they're all purple. Purple. Okay, strange whisper. Uh... What's this? The only can help is a long nap. Okay, that's that's kind of a yes nap. Conf no, am I fixing it? Uh, am I fixing it? Broken bed. I think I'm fixing it. Hopefully, I'm fixing it. If not, uh, this may be actually quite quite bad for us. Oh uh, boy. So this is a sort of a survival game. Candy, yes, candy will keep you. Uh, where's candy? Eat it. Eat the candy. Eat the candy, man. Hopefully it won't kill you. I'll give you energy. That give you that give you actually 
That, like, that little candy gives you more energy than the instant noodles. Well, maybe the noodles weren't cook. cooked. Maybe that's why. Come on, fix it. <clears throat> fix it so you can go to sleep. These creatures are man-eaters. People are going to sleep and never waking up. They're uh, trying to stay awake. Oh, okay, to keep safe. That's That actually won't work long, long um, term. Let's go to sleep and I'm gonna try and keep watch. And the things are happening again. Things are happening. Bad things. Okay, I can now make the, the medikit. I was trying to do it to make last time. And one more lockpick. Now, thankfully, we do have uh, enough heat and enough um, light to actually keep those things at bay. And maybe make a run for it. One thing I would have liked to see is the ability to actually interrupt them. Because she is rested enough right now for us to make a run for it. Well, after I get this guy rested a bit too. But I can't actually interrupt the, uh, the action. So these things will show up right now. Because I cannot interrupt the action. Like, even if she is completely uh, rested, I still cannot interrupt the action. See, she's... Yeah, she's rested now. Yeah, okay, now... No, yeah, I think they're actually tied into but the, uh, the interface sort of makes it look like she still has uh, some time left to rest. Out of reach. Come on, go through here. It would also be nice if you could just lay down on the floor and take a nap. It, it's not like it's impossible. It's inconceivable. You can do that, absolutely. I like the, some of the ideas of the game, but... In my mind, I sort of had it a bit more closer to uh, what the actual uh, thing was. With characters not being who they say they were. And actually, I've only played that kind of game. Well, I've played that kind of game mostly in multiplayer. And in single player, not really that much. Like, I've played the Sita, i played the werewolf thing where you investigate people. There aren't that many single player games that do it, are there. Like the, the identity thing. Anomalies, okay. They're here. Oh, and uh, we, we are out of gas. Come on, let's put in some something in that furnace and then we can be on our merry ways. Which maybe she will not enter. If it sees the light. There's a bulletin board too, a blackboard. Okay, it looks like I've got the winning ticket. All the guys wanted to see it once and some old stuff first started happening. Five tickets. Oh, okay. This is the guy with the tickets. Hit them in different spots so that they could only find it in a couple of days. So settle. Okay. So this is the uh, the uh, the reason why you start looking for the tickets. These, by the way, are locked. You can actually go in there. I thought it, they may be uh, useful. Where do you actually go? Can uh, see the anomaly. I should lure it into the heat or light. Yes, we should. H how can he see it? He, there's no window there. How can he see the anomaly? Or we could run. Okay, so this is north. Now it's north. So I'm gonna have to go in the other in that direction. Aha! Uh -huh. What do you mean I can? But I have an axe. I have an axe. We should probably be able to use my axe on it. Okay, we're both gonna run away. Run, run away, run, run away. And hopefully I'm gonna go in the right direction. Come on, run, run away. Okay, it's it's actually coming after us, which is kind of a bad thing, but I can at least keep it away. Okay, well, one of these guys is uh, trying to, uh, to open that gate. The other one will try and keep it at bay with the flashlight, and there's a light there as well, so that may actually help us. Hopefully I'm in the right orientation. Man, this thing's far. Okay, you guy. Zone to exit. Oh, that's... But I have, I have the key. And you... Yeah, you keep it at bay, keep it at bay. Keep it at bay. It's a good thing that it's it's mouse pointer based, like the movement, and it blew up. Uh, the explorers uh, ready to move. Uh, yeah, leave. Yeah, we we're done here. And there's a thing outside. 
There was a thing there. I didn't click on it until it was too late. Ah. I wonder if I can click on it now. Yes, I can click on it now. Alien object. Let's touch it. Poke it like we're some of one of those stupid, stupid scientists from uh Whatchamacallit? The horrible Prometheus movie, yeah. The alien prequel. Poke it with a stick, of course. Why wouldn't you? Close entrance, let's open it. Yeah, I'm glad I have all those keys. Can we find another? I think these may be actually procedurally generated, like the, the areas. Because if they're not, it would be kind of... Uh, kind of according to just have them be the same way over and over again. I mean, why would you play them again if it's the same thing? Yeah, to get further, but if you won once, well, why would you do it again? It's The recipe won't change unless they're, they're at least in some way non-consecutive, uh, non-repeating. Uh, non-identical with each run. Probably check it by doing a new game right now. Probably do that. Here we have something in the freezer. You get to get the sack. Coffee beans, the last... Oh, candy. Candy, candy, candy. Have some candy, man. You checked crate. Hopefully we'll find something. Shelf boot boxes. Yes, we have some. Oh, the the thing that's making the noise is this guy. More coffee beans. Let's open that up. There's a lot of doing nothing in this game. Old characters uh, wait to finish their actions. It sort of takes away from it. I mean, I would honestly replace this with a skill check. It's just kind of tedious. Just do a skill check. If yeah, this thing turn-based, like time unit-based, like uh, like XCOM was, I think it would have been a bit smoother. Like it would still waste time, but it would be mathematical time, not actual time. Yeah, I think it would be a bit more uh, streamlined. But this is the game at large, if you will. It's it's a survival game where you are hunted by creatures of darkness and uh, entities of terror in Antarctica. And if you find all the tickets, you can win a uh, boat trip. Though actually, I have no idea if, the, if that contest is still valid. It may have ended, I mean, it started in August. So it may have ended up uh, by now. Come on, go in, go in, go inside. We have a cabinet here and a bookcase. You can find a game right now on Steam for uh, what was it, seven and something euros. Yeah. I'm gonna have to alt if I if I alt tab something bad will happen. And I just know it. Let's let's check and I check it through here. It's uh, what was it? Yeah, it's just seven and eighty. It's almost eight euros because it's on Steam sale. It doesn't have uh, oh. It does have co-op, it seems. Yeah, and co-op it would work kind of a lot better. I mean, players could independently check every place. Also, it it, it you can have a maximum of four characters, so yeah, that would that would work too. Let's check these and uh, probably be on our way. Actually, I'm gonna just save and quit now because you've seen what the game has to offer. So does it have a uh, multi? No, it doesn't have actually doesn't actually have multiplayer. Let's start a new one. Oh, yo, by the way, you also have two difficulty levels where uh, I was playing unchallenging, that's why they were constantly dying. And this mode has a secret ending, so you, you can also unlock every character in this mode. In this one, you can only unlock two characters, so that's that's something different. Uh, you don't know what type of building until... Yeah, you can't see the, the buildings from the outside, you're, you're just gonna have to go inside and hope for the best. Let's let's try it on this one. Like I said, you can pick uh, your characters from this. Uh, this guy doesn't really seem to be worried about the cold. And uh, let's do this. Now let's see if um, the uh, you look the area is different right now. If we start this way, if you want the camera to follow a hero, click on something. Hover the cursor over anomaly to buy time. This is not a super ability. There, there are super abilities in the game. Apparently, there are more than one ways to open a door. Yes, that's a good thing. That's something I wish more RPGs would do, because they used to have it like quite a lot. Remember, wasteland you could actually climb over the fence instead of just using the door. Okay, that's one of my guys, and that's the other one. 
And the map is completely different. Wow, it's uh it's totally different. Cool! And there, it does actually that there's three things to activate in there? What 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 what? And I Ooh, this these are they're actually blocked. Okay, so the uh, the challenges you face do vary quite a lot from uh, from play to play play to through pardon play through to play through. That's a mouthful. And again, since it is almost uh, December, it's nice to have a game about stone. This has been Distrust, which I may have called Deceit from time to time during the show. Uh, they, they, the names are kind of similar. It's available right now on Steam. It's been available on Steam for months, and it's uh. It's a cool idea of a game. Implementation wise, not entirely sold on it, but I like the idea. It's sort of like, like imagine if the long dark had a point to it and a horrible camera that, why can't I just move it in smaller increments? It's, it's 2017, you're a 3D game. We, you, we can do better than this. Much, much, much better. Hey, you open that? What's inside? Nothing! I wasted all that time for nothing! Oh no, wait, there's, there's, there's a window I can open. And let in the cold. This will be even worse. No, they, they, oh, there's a lever! Oh, so this thing has levers, actually, and that I can't click on. So you do have to il illuminate things to actually see them properly. Yeah, that's a cool thing. Okay, so, so let's try this lever again. Come on, look at it. Come on. He's pulling the lever. Lever one blocks this lever. Oh god damn it. It's one of those kind of uh puzzles. The ones I hate. But one lever deactivates another lever, and we have to go to pull all the levers in the corrector. I don't I hate those. I hate those puzzles. They're all the same. Annoying. But the rest of the game seems okay enough. That'll be it. I'm gonna see you again with a play now of something different tomorrow and uh, more things as time goes on. Goodbye. Oh look, it's a crate of potatoes. I wonder what's inside. Maybe some chips? No, it's just a potato. What did I even expect?